So 38 XF1, while it's never been our highest volume bean on the team, it, it has actually been my favorite. So, so this bean, to me, it's like the 6595 of soybeans. It will go on about any soil type and, and it's pretty easy to position. Has very good standability for as tall as it is, handles stress well, has good high yield potential. Uh, it's gonna be getting a lot of competition from the XF3 class uh, for that top end yield slot, but still has a lot of utility. Um, still a good emerging product and, and a product that I find to be very versatile will work in, in almost any situation. Absolutely, yeah. And so because of all those reasons, it is going to be a little bit harder to walk away from to go to some of the newer stuff because, as, as you said, it, just, it, it does a lot. It, it is kind of that, that adaptable, versatile product in, in the beans that really you can plant it about anywhere and it's going to do, it, you, you can rely on it and depend upon it, which is, is great to have and, and you can become real comfortable with that. I think as, as it ages and as we make room for products like 38XF3, you know, I'm going to utilize 38XF1 a lot more probably as a tough acre bean. We've used 37XF1 historically as a tough acre bean. We did hang on to a few 37XF1s, but I think 38XF1s could, could become our tough acre product and uh, keep 38XF3s on that, uh, on that really high yield acre.